into match day number three, we go now over in Group B with a crunch clash to decide who will join Venezuela in the quarterfinals. Will it be Mexico? Will it be Ecuador? We're going to get into it next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another video. Today, it's all about previewing the Mexico-Ecuador game over in Group B. Win to stay in, basically, in this competition as we try to find out who's going to join Venezuela in the knockout stages. We'll get into all of it in a minute. Big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, smash that subscribe, boys and girls. Your one-stop shop for Copa America is right here under one Ruski. Mexico have uh, had a bit of a slow start, but looking good right now heading into this one. But can Ecuador uh, make it to South American nations from two? We'll get to that in a minute. Big, big shout out again. 50 likes if you don't mind. Let's get into it and have a look at it then, shall we? Yeah, of course, Mexico coming at you. Has uh, been here 11 times in the past and they were runners up once. Way back in 1993, 2001. Can they do it? They've got a long way to go yet. They are managed by Jamie Lozano with a star man, Santiago Gimenez. Uh, they are in Group B right now where they had odds at 11 to 10 to win the group. Qualify 92 on to win the whole thing 11 to 1. Mexico's odds right now have drifted dramatically to 22 to 1. Uh, they are more likely to win than Venezuela and are more likely to win than their opposition here today. But we'll see. Quarterfinals, my expectation. They're currently ranked 14th in the world, according to FIFA. This is the rankings right here, right? And all the rankings, of course, the, uh, the state of play. 1 0 opening day win against Jamaica. That was back on the 22nd of June. Meanwhile, they did take on Venezuela where they lost. 1-0, so they're coming to this uh, with a goal difference of null, uh, but three points in the bag. A win to go through, a draw ain't going to work, I don't think, for Mexico. So they're going to have to come at you, and of course, standing in the way as Ecuador. We'll look at them in a minute. These are the key personnel for uh, Mexico, with the likes of Gonzalez uh, in the back there, Sanchez, Montes, Ortega, Edison Alvarez, where's the captain's armbands? We've got Eric Sanchez in, Luis Chavez, uh, Santiago Jimenez, uh, and Atuna in the mixer to uh, uh, to be in the lineup then. What about my lineup? Well, we're going to go with this then, Shab. We've got Gonzalez, Ortega, Chavez, Vasquez, Reyes, Romo, Alvarez, Sanchez. Uh, we've got Juinones, Jimenez, and Atuna uh, up top. What about their opposition then, of course, in their way will be uh, Ecuador coming at you right here, right now. Been here 29 times in the past. They've never bettered a fourth place finish, and that was back in 59 and 1993. Their manager, Felix Sanchez Bass, uh, with, of course, the star man Moses Casado. They are in Group B, where they had odds of 8 to 5 to win the group, 11 to 4 on to qualify, 16 to 1 to win the whole thing. Those odds have, of course, gone backwards, 25 to 1 right now. Uh, so, not looking good for Ecuador at the moment. My expectation was a semi final. Finish, of course. It does not look good at the moment for these guys. It looks like runner up spot is is what they're competing for. Um, I don't think they can top this group. Uh, are currently ranked 31st in the world according to FIFA. This is their resume so far. 2-1 loss to Venezuela. They were down to 10 men, but they raised their game in the next one against Jamaica just the other day. Taking on Mexico here and now for the last uh, place in this group. Venezuela are there. And I think they're going to be there as group winners. Uh, Ecuador. Uh, are in second spot right now. Draw is enough, I think, for Ecuador, but really you want to kind of get the, the wheels of momentum and optimism in the Ecuadorian camp flying because you're likely to be taking on Argentina in the second round here, guys, in the quarterfinals. It's not looking good, my friends. Let's take a look then at, of course, the key personnel. We have Hencampe at the back there, Dominguez between the sticks, Pacho, Hurtado, Guffientes, Yeboa, Sarmento, uh, Erna Valencia. Is he back? We'll see. Uh, let's take a look then at my lineup. We're going to go with this. Uh, of course, we're going to have uh, Galindez in Cape Pacho Torres, Pasado, Ortez, Quesado, Minda, Kennedy Paz, there, Alan Franco, Erna Valencia. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Let me know. Let's take a look at the game itself then, shall we? Coming at you at the State Farm Stadium on the 30th of June, Mexico, with Lozano in the dugout. Ecuador with Felix Sanchez in the dugout. Played each other 15 times since 2002. Nine wins for Mexico, three for Ecuador, three draws so far. Mexico, 33% form for them at the moment. Uh, just two wins of the last six up against the Ecuador side. Three wins at the last four, 50% form for them over the last six. And most recently, these two sides did lock horns back in June 2022 in a friendly, and it was all square, nil nil. In fact, over the last five, they've interchanged two wins and two defeats each. And of course, that solitary draw all the way back to 2015, that's right. Coming at you, 
Uh, bookies, 7 to 4 for Mexico, 10 to 70 to 10 is your Ecuador. 11 to 5 is the draw. The bookies have it quite tight, but it looks like they favor Mexico here. The bookies uh, are in, in cohesion with the with the with the public vote. Uh, 56% going with Mexico. A draw, sorry, the draw is 11. Ecuador at 33. Uh, what about me then on this one? I think it's quite tight. It is very, very tight, so much so. I cannot separate the two. So I'm going to go with a draw, which I think, as rumor has it, would we'll probably send Ecuador through and Mexico home. Is that right? Uh, let me have a quick shifty on that. It would. It would send Ecuador through. Mexico would tumble out, unfortunately, at this stage. But that's just my take, guys. It might be completely wrong. Of course, it could be a bit. Of, it should be a bit of a banger this game because there's so much riding on the lines, uh, and I had so much hope and optimism for some of these Concacaf nations. And at the moment, it looks like Mexico will be exiting at the group stages. That's it, guys. Smash the subscribe. Smash the like. Your one-stop shop for Copa America continues right here as we look forward to those uh, uh, end of group stages and into the quarterfinals. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below as we look forward to seeing those uh, but until then subscribe smash the like and of course we'll catch you later for the next one